So, in today's video, um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, yeah, uh, I think this is my second Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, boost box, like, ever. I'm pretty sure I had, um, was it Battles of was it Legend or something? Or Brothers of Legend? I'm pretty sure I opened up a boost box, didn't I? If not, oops, this will be my first one then. <laughs> I can't really remember now. So I'm going to open this with a knife. Or can. So we're after. Let me just look up a few again. Uh, Starlight Rares, those are big money. And Dark Magician, and what else? Um, I'll be happy with <laughs> any of those, obviously. And uh, a few of my mates that actually play Yu Gi Oh! like religiously will be pissed off at me. But uh, those are very low odds on getting any of those. Um, so. Yeah, I doubt I'll get any of it here. Um, so yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, I'm very new to it still. Uh, absolutely love the art and the anime. I watched again, because I haven't watched it since I was like a kid. Um, uh, I think it was via yeah, Netflix. I don't know if there's a car trip to this or not, but we're just going to go into it. So, <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> I'm very new to all this stuff. But uh, as you can see here, so the artwork is amazing. I'm pretty sure it's actually fourth on the back then, I think. <clears throat> so, put that just in a normal sleeve for now. Uh, let's move some stuff there. Okay, let's put this to the side of the room. Actually, <clears throat> let's put our hits over this side. <laughs> so, second pack. So, yeah, if I miss anything like really big and you don't see me like get shocked, that's why. I apologise. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure as well that like, the Starlights and all that stuff that can actually be anywhere in these packs, even if you do the uh, card trick or not. At least I'm pretty sure. That's a cute card. Ooh, look at that. See what I mean? Very cool artwork. So, yeah, the fourth on the back is the card trick. Nice to know. <clears throat> Those to the side. <laughs> um, yeah. This is uh, my first Yu-Gi-Oh opening as well of uh, 2023. So this would be pretty cool. Oh yeah, I forgot to do the fucking card trick. <laughs> God's sake. <clears throat> I really can't wait for um, the... I think it's the 25th anniversary, I think, for Yu-Gi-Oh as well. In oh, this year. Um... And that box looks really cool as well. I'm definitely going to get hopefully a few of those, if I can. I don't know how uh, hard it would be to get. But if I do manage to get a few, then it would be pretty cool. Definitely open up one or possibly more on the channel. And there we go. Ooh, that looks nice. Vampire. That's a neat one. Very nice. Also, I learned as well from Ash, Card Bazaar, that... Uh, so I'm guessing this is just the... Let me see. It's just a rare. I'm pretty sure it has a gold name up there as well. Yeah, and then be an ultra rare. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so, this one here. It's an ultra rare. At least. If I haven't forgotten. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how it goes, right? And then of course you've got the SRs and some other jazz as well. Three, four from the back. I saw um, some really cool... Uh, you go unboxings recently as well, right? Um, people put an absolute madness, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm definitely jealous. Oh, that looks nice, that's pretty cute. So, that's a uh, ultra rare, and then Pokemon Zones. Oh, look at this one! Oh, it's actually part of this. Wow, that design is really nice. That hollow design, gonna um, put that in uh, one of these, so I can put it in a uh, uh, well, I've got. I'm gonna get a big binder for Yu-Gi-Oh, because uh, I've opened up quite a bit recently, and um, I've got like a page full of SRs which aren't really worth much at all. They're like all under like a quid, but um, they really look really nice anyway, like the artwork. So I've kept them, put them in the binder, and then other ones which are somewhat expensive. I think they're my only expensive Yu-Gi-Oh card is actually about thirty quid right now, but um, 
It looks really nice though. Those ones would be like top loaders and all that stuff like that. Um, the ones that are worth like more than a few quid, I guess. But uh, yeah, it looks really nice. <clears throat> and then uh, I've also got a small binder with uh, all the cute video artwork in as well. But that will be going into the big binder when uh, I order one, which will be relatively soon. <clears throat> so, hang on. Let's keep card. Looks nice. So I don't think we've got anything too mad so far. This is when I quickly look at my computer and uh, realise I've pulled like something mad. <laughs> Three, four from the back. I actually went to uh, Smith's as well and brought the uh, the 2022 like gold tin. And uh, yeah, that's where I got the card. That's about 30 or quid. It was like 25 or 30 quid. But um, oh, that looks nice. But, um, <coughs> what do I want to say? Uh, but it had a load of video products in there, and a friend of mine who went in there today got go to get some of the tins and all the Pokemon stuff. Said it's all sold out, because of course they weren't open Boxing Day. And, uh, so yeah. Did I say today? I mean, <laughs> whatever. That looks nice. Gonna put that in one of these. It's actually a really nice card. Really nice art. That up there. So I don't think we've pulled anything at all mad so far. I'm hoping we get at least a. I don't know what the pull rates are per box though. So I don't know if you're only gonna get one per this box or a few. I'm not really sure. Uh, three, four from the back. I have no idea how it goes with Yu-Gi-Oh, or if there is even a, uh, an amount you can actually pull SR ones. It's very cool. <clears throat> Three, four from the back. Lady of Lampant. It's more of these regular season. <coughs> nah, shut that door. <coughs> Three, four for the back. Okay, let's go. Get a lot of this in this uh, one there as well. Man Hacker. A Nordic relic. <laughs> uh, I'm not even going to pronounce that last bit. <laughs> Fuck no. Yeah, some pretty cool Yu-Gi-Oh um, figures actually in the Smiths. Um, I was going to pick them up, but I was like, nah, I can't be seen in person buying figures. <laughs> but I might order um, a few of them off online rather. Oh, there we go, there's another ultra rare. At least I'm pretty sure that's the ultra rare. <laughs> With the uh, gold name and uh, the hollow. Let's put that over there. How many packs have there? I've got actually quite a few. Jesus. 24 packs per box. It feels like more. <laughs> Jesus. When are you going to have to open up a uh, Pokemon Booster box in ages either? So, <laughs> 24. It's already quite a lot for me. Oh, nice! Oh, that looks sick. <laughs> I'm putting that in a uh, one of these more tighter fit Yu Gi Oh sleeves. I love that. The uh, Caribou uh, first type person are um, favourite mine as well. Got a uh, page dedicated to them in my uh, binder. Three, four for the mic.
Ooh, look at that. Is that blue eyes? Like, that is, oh no, it's blue eyes. White dragon head. That looks sick. Bruh. Putting that right in one of these bad boys. <coughs> so, actually, put the bulk in a nicer pile. We're 10 minutes into the video. I have no idea if I pulled anything mad at all. <laughs> so, apologies if uh, you're used to someone knowing a lot more about Yugo than me, obviously, and uh, screaming their ass off if they pull anything mad. So, yeah. <coughs> Oh, oh, that's an SR. The zombie vampire. Let me uh, <laughs> quickly walk to my computer. Because I want to see if that's anything good. <clears throat> I have no idea if it is. Uh, oh, that's about $4 for 70 pen uh, pence. 70 cents. <laughs> I am looking at a what the TCG player. So, yeah. Very cool pull though. I'm gonna put it in a top lighter actually because even if it wasn't worth anything, that is still a really cool artwork. Whoosh, nice, saucy. <laughs> very cool. So, and the SRs are very hard to get in this set, it looks like. Yeah, damn. Well, another one of these. So that's the second one. I'm hoping we don't get just one SR per box, though. <laughs> I'm hoping we get at least another few, or at least another one that might be a bit more spicy. So, skip through a few cards, though. Oh, look! Another SR? Oh, hello. Ice Jade. Something, something. <laughs> Let me uh, quickly look how much that's worth as well. Um, Ice Jade, where are you? Ice Jade. Mm. Uh, I don't think it's worth much as it has on the first page. Uh, it's about a quid. <laughs> You win some, you do stuff, but it still looks like a really nice card, no? So that's gonna go into my uh, my SR page in my uh, binder. I really like the art for you go. It's just like obviously I love Pokemon. Pokemon's cute and all that stuff. Like that. But you go is just really cool artwork as well. And, you know, it's got bloody <laughs> monsters and shit like that. It's pretty cool. An S Force retract retroactive. That looks pretty cool too. There's another attack or defense. And I'll read the description of it later on, but <laughs> yeah. Pretty cool artwork. Ball from the back. Nice artwork. Cute titty bear. Let's put that on there. How many packs have we got left? Four more packs. Jesus. We are 14, over 14 minutes in. There's a lot of uh, empty packs to my side. <laughs> I'll be able to bin bag my room. Okay then. <clears throat> Smile potion. We've got a top sheen, we've got a long name, we've got Maple Maiden, Leaf Place, Place, <clears throat> and then there is a uh, whatever, or rare, whatever. <laughs> Fourth on the back. Ultra rare, nice. Uh, 
Put there. The last two packs, people. Pull on the back. Yeah, last pack magic. Can we somehow get a? What is it called again? Is it? It's called a Starlight Rare. Very delicate because those were very hard to get from what I've seen. I've seen that Ruxin guy. Um, open up a bunch <laughs> and he didn't get uh, Starlight. Looks sick. Well, we finish it off on vision with eyes of blue. That looks amazing. It's going to go into one of these. So, uh, yeah. Oh, I definitely have to look up any prices of or anything mad I've got <laughs> after I finish this video. But uh, yeah, artwork very nice. Um, Value-wise, obviously, all depends on who you are. <laughs> you know. Unless you get the starlights, you're probably going to be like, ooh, bit shit, be honest. But I like it. I'm glad I spent, what, 50 quid, I think it was, on this box. And I've got some really nice artwork and some really cool cards put in my collection. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching this Yu Gi Oh! opening. I know it's different from, uh, of course, Pokemon. But, uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Um, check out the description down below to other Poke viewers and streamers. Uh, some of them don't do just Pokemon, like myself. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe and peace.